Kaylee, what is our first main topic today? John, our first main topic comes from Paul Schrader. Greetings, crew. John, I just wanted to draw some attention to news and item that really gets overlooked due to the big Superman news, and that's Satana. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Satana's long-promised live-action movie that was supposed to come to HBO has been canceled by Warner Brothers. It looks like it has to do with a larger divorce from J.J. Abrams' projects. What do you think of this, and will we ever get a proper Zatanna movie? Thanks. John, I mean, it... it does seem like every time you know there's a lot of jj abrams movie projects dropping yeah do you think a zatanna movie will ever happen i you know that's the question you have to start asking right now because you're right like everything from well we've talked the other day about the laundry list of all the jj projects that have been getting axed and it really does look like one of the first items of housekeeping that david zaslav had coming into taking over warner brothers is getting rid of that jj abrams deal that they just don't feel was a good deal for the studio and one of the the uh, casualties, I guess you could say, is the Titan. Now, it's an interesting situation because they are still willing to produce the show. According to the story, it's just that HBO no longer wants it. But Warner Brothers is still going to shop it. So there is a possibility here that we could see a Zatanna show on Amazon Prime or on Apple Plus or on Paramount Plus or on Crackle. <laughs> or on yeah. Shutter, or on whatever the, the the service. It is possible that could still happen. The Hallmark Channel. The Hallmark <gasps> Channel. Oh my God! There you go. A very Perfect. merry Zatanna Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> very magical Zatanna yeah, Christmas. Where just service. when she thought she was going to be lonely forever, she meets a local school teacher. See, it writes itself. See, I watch it though. Who pulls her away from her exciting life in the big city <laughs> and teaches her about churning her own butter? Stop pitching me that things that I can't so watch. Familiar. Have you seen? Have you ever seen the the clip from Family Guy where it's like, ah, it's just another one of these romantic comedies, and it shows an actress come in the room. I'm a busy businesswoman doing business, and then a guy comes in the room, holds her, goes. All of your problems can be solved with my penis. <laughs> just, Pretty much. That's, no, that's the typical formula, right, for these for these things. Yep, so anyway, what were we talking paid. about? Zatanna. Zatanna. Yes. Donkeys? I don't know. I honestly, I don't think we're going to see it appear anywhere else. I think this is going to go and sit on a shelf. And then I believe in a few years, we will see Zatanna in the DCEU. Mm. I, I, I just don't really see, number one, I don't see a lot of other streaming networks wanting to pick it up, knowing that a lot of the creative control and some a lot of parameters are going to be put on their ability of what they can do with that show on another network. And I really just think that at the end of the day, Warner Brothers is going to want to keep this one in their pocket because, listen, you go out on Halloween. Yeah, you get a lot of Jedis. You get a lot of Harley Quinns. You get a lot of stuff like that. But you see a lot of Zatannas. I've done this. Yes, you have. Yep. I've, I've, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and a lot of people I know. Everybody loves loves the, the outfit, the, the character. She's got an iconic look. I mean, in the animated stuff, she's got a really interesting history with Batman. There's a lot of very, and of course, her stuff with Constantine. Yeah. So I think we're ultimately going to see her in the DCEU. Chris, what do you think ultimately is going to be the fate of Zatanna? I want the Mistress of Magic, damn it. <laughs> I want this. She first appeared in comics in 1964 in Hawkman number four. She's amazing. She's the best. Um, she was kind of done dirty on the CW shows. Let's be real. When she appeared on Smallville, you were like, okay. Well, this is fine. A lot of characters were done dirty on the CW true. show. This is yes. also true. But I would love for her to get her own series. I do think that you're right, though, that we are probably going to see her later on down the road because I see us doing some kind of Justice League dark situations. Right. Because those are some juicy stories. And her stuff with Constantine is so, so cool. There's so much fun stuff when they team up with Swamp Thing, too. Come on. Like, I kind of... I know I'm going to get some ire on this one. I kind of don't care about the Justice League as much as I do about... The dark society. I don't think here. you're. I, I don't think you're alone. I find it so much more interesting. I love the macabre because I don't do horror, but I like spooky. I like spooky and I like magic. So give me this. All right, Aaron. <laughs> what do you think? Do you think we're gonna see Zatanna? And have you ever cosplayed as Zatanna? I have not cosplayed as ah, a, as Zatanna, but now that. that she is on my radar, I'm thinking that I should probably like. I I love her. I love her costume. I love her character. And what I was doing, uh, I was reading. Uh, there was a great uh, article by Joel Scott who wrote for comic basics and he was talking about the reason why this character has never really 
kind of kind of come out of her third tier level and become a more um, important character in the DCEU. And part of it, he said, is because she's just too darn powerful. You know, she was able to heal um, a Catwoman when she had her heart ripped out, and she, she there's really nothing that can kill her. She's impenetrable. She when we talk about the power of you know Miss Marvel, Captain Marvel, excuse me, and Wanda, you know, over in Marvel, she would be the equivalent of that. And there's really, you know, sh and even Green Arrow admitted, listen, there's nobody more powerful in the DCEU. She can't be killed. There's, she can heal anybody. She's got these incredible powers. So when you have someone that can't be killed and has so many incredible powers and can do magic, what is the conflict there? And in any great story, you need to have that conflict. And what we've seen that seen Marvel do so well is they create the world and then they invite the character in to play in that world. You know, we see Doctor Strange didn't just all of a sudden have his own standalone movie. You know, we saw a world being created in which he could exist and play and then there he was and then all of a sudden all these other you know magic beings came came about the problem is that there is no magic world for zatanna to exist in as yet, it stands right as now. it yeah. stands right now so if all of a sudden we just hear about this show hey and zatanna and everybody's like who the hell is the i <laughs> yeah. don't know who that is you no you need to yeah you need to rev her up i wouldn't mind seeing her appear you know as a smaller character as a supporting character in some of these movies and then she ends up getting her own series so that we're already excited we know what her powers are we know what she's capable of we know she's got an amazing costume i want to see her on stage doing a magic show sawing a man in half having some like you know hot boy toy man candy as her assistant as we've seen male magicians do for years like i want to see that happen and then i'm going to go oh wow i really want to watch this show and then once we have that done then the show as written by um i'm blanking on the name it was just on the screen uh perfect woman um emerald feral emerald feral if you're not familiar with her she's an award-winning and um writer of of shows that have been incredibly popular and she's a fabulous writer so i think that her at the helm would be incredible but not right now and it's also like any time that you hear somebody going yeah i'm not interested but you have you, you you go and do that it doesn't bode well for getting picked up immediately so i say hey dceu sit on this for a minute make her a supporting character in one of your films and then you can have a great um, through uh, a great entry into a, into a show itself. All right, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? It's the latest domino to fall in JJ's deals over at Warner Brothers. Do you think we'll ultimately see Zatanna? Do you think maybe they will shop it around and we could see her on another network? Do you think they'll keep her on the shelf until they can utilize her properly? Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, we want to take a second and thank a sponsor of today's video, DraftKings. NBA fans, the wait is over. Basketball is back, so tip off the new season with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA. New customers can make any $5 NBA Moneyline bet and get $200 in free bets if your team wins. So check this out. In addition to the usual bets, everyone can boost up their winnings up to 100% with DraftKings stepped-up same-game parlays. Just go to the DraftKings Sportsbook app, opt in, and place a stepped-up same-game parlay today. With payouts bigger than ever, DraftKings Sportsbook is where you need to go to bet on the NBA. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use the promo code CAMPIA, that's C-A-M-P-E-A. -E Make any $5 bet this week and get $200 in free bets if your team wins. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook with promo code CAMPIA. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See the show notes for details.